In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a canvas for your advertising banner. This is what you need to create for unit 21 of your OCR and it meets assessment objective 5. In this video tutorial I'll show exactly what you need to do and the tools you need to use to get a pass. Okay, first of all you need to choose from your ICT menu in all programs. You need to go to your Adobe Web Standard CS3 folder and from there you're going to select fireworks now once you open up fireworks you'll be given this screen you need to create a new fireworks document and you now need to decide on the canvas size as this canvas is going to go into a web page probably the best measurements to use will be a width of 1000 pixels a height of 200 pixels and a resolution of 72 we're going to use a transparent canvas so that we can draw out a shape for a background. So I'm going to click on OK now. And I have got my canvas. The checkered background shows you that it's transparent, so you don't have to worry if you see all these squares. That's just telling you that it's see-through at this moment. Now, on the vector tool panel, I've got a square here. If I hold down, I've got lots of different options of shapes I can have. I'm just going to use the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw that out across my background so I can set a colour and maybe a pattern. So at the moment, in my paint bucket, it's blue and it's just put the whole canvas in a royal blue colour. I could choose one of these styles and that would put that on top of my rectangle or I can change the pattern how I want it to be. So if I click in solid there in the properties toolbar, I can select gradient and I can choose some of these. For instance, if I'm going to use ellipse, you'll see that it's blue blended with white. If I click on my paint bucket again, my blue's there, it's blending with white. I can choose that I may want to blend it with yellow, okay? Or light gray, okay? Entirely up to you. Make sure that your colors you choose fit in with your house style you've decided for unit 21. Okay, so we've set our background, I now want to put some text on this canvas. Under Vector Tools, there is the A for Text Tool, and that is just to draw out a text box. So if I click on the A, and I'm going to draw my text box out, and I'm just going to type in there, Advertising Banner. And, first of all, don't worry about the size of the text, the colour and the font, we'll choose that in a moment. Okay, So click on the pointer tool once you've done that and it allows you to move your text around. And I'm going to choose a different font. So I'm going to go with Arial Black. I'm going to centre it so that your alignment options, just like in Word, instead of being at the top of the screen like it is in Microsoft Office, it's at the bottom. So you can use the alignment tools here. So I'm going to put on mine in the middle of the text box. And then I'm going to change the colour. So I can see if I can stand out a bit more. Let's try red. Could try yellow. Okay, I'm going to go with the yellow. Again, because I'm using my pointer tool, I can move this exactly where I want it to be. So I'm going to put it in the middle of my screen. Okay. So far, I've used a graphic, which is the rectangle. And I've also used a text box to put some text in there. Don't forget, when putting your text in, make, it, make sure that it's clear and the person can read it. As you need to be advertising something, if it's the music festival, make sure that you're advertising. Maybe it might be the ticket prices or who's on at your festival. I'm now going to put a shape in. And if I click on the vector tools again and select the rectangle tool, I'll hold down my left click. And to drag down, I'm going to put a star in the corner. Just drag that out on the screen. Again, click on my pointer. I can put that where I want it. I'm just going to put it on this side. Choose a colour. I just want it to be a solid yellow. So, click solid. Nice star there in the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I'm going to insert a picture. Now, in Microsoft Office, you usually go to the Insert toolbar. You can also copy and paste. However, to make sure that you get the graphic exactly or the image exactly to the size that you want, you need to import this image. So make sure you've saved it in your resources folder within your AO3, AO6 folder for Unit 21. 
and you're going to go to file import now you can see this is my unit 21 folder and I'm going to go to my AO3 AO6 products folder and there's my resources so saved all the pictures I think I need for my graphics in here and I'm just going to put the school's logo you'll now see that I get like a right angle tool that as if I left, I left click down I'll drag this out and you'll see that it puts the Kingsway Park logo exactly the size that I wanted it to be because I've dragged that right angle to the size I wanted it to be I'm going to pop it there in a the corner so at the moment I've now got text I've used a graphic I've used a graphic for the background set my background colour I've now got my logo in there this line that appears is something that decides the pattern and just the way that the pattern that you've chose the ellipse for your shape if you move that round all that does is just change the positioning of that ellipse in your rectangle. So at the moment, using all them tools, you'll be able to get a pass for your Unit 21 as long as you've correctly advertised. So in this case, for Unit 21, the music festival, and it's appropriate for your audience, and you've used the colours that you've used in selected in your house style. So if you've said you're going to use purple backgrounds or blue backgrounds with yellow text, make sure that your banner has them characteristics. Once you've done that and you think you're happy, that's fine, we're at a pass. You can then move on to the next tutorial to try and add some animation to try and achieve a distinction in this unit.